The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, in this unique dispensation of the church age, the greatness and the uniqueness of this church age can never be told or never be understood for you if you are not under the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to know. And above all, if you are not earnestly desiring and if you are not earnestly laboring around to look and to understand what is the true fellowship with Jehovah that you and I have been given in eternity past to have that great fellowship. Dear brethren, the greater the time that we are going to survive on this earth into the indulgence of our own thinking rather than thinking and the attitude of Christ is what you and I have been given, number one failure. Dear brethren, the greater your rebound, the greater your ministry under the care of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, so that you can rebound and get back into the fellowship, demands that you need to know the true burden, where with each and every believer, the Lord has chosen and kept in eternity past, to the praise of His glory in His grace. Therefore, there can be nothing so humble, nothing which so marks the Spirit's presence, nothing so opposed to insubordination, nothing by which every ungodly voice is so utterly silenced as obedience. Obedience is the only rightful state of the creature, or God would cease to be supreme, would cease to be God. Sin is lawlessness, doings one will, will without consulting God is what the sin is. Blessing for the Christian follows obedience. If you shall keep my commandments, you shall abide in my word, as I have kept my father's commandments and abided in his love. Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone love me, he will keep my word, and my father will love him, and we will come to him and make our abode with him in John 14.23. Willingness to do God's will is necessary for further light. If anyone desire to practice his will, he shall know concerning the doctrine, whether it is of God or that of that I speak from myself, saith our Lord in John 7:17. 7, if we think it is too much to be always obedient and dependent, then we are catering to the flesh. The real question is, do we want to walk in the power of the new creation or of the world? Do we want to be the true sons of Allah and Ketesus through the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit? Or you want to be once again the same old sin nature? We are mandated to walk in the newness of the Spirit. We have been mandated to walk as per the word of the Lord demands not as per these people, they think it could be a greater benefit. Therefore, true happiness is, be, is to be found walking in the light, in the judgment of ourselves, and in looking to the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for everything. Why should we wish to retain the flesh after we have rejoiced in our deliverance from it? Why should we not be walking in the consciousness of the love of God and Christ by the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit? But we may so love the world and other things that we scarcely know what the Christian life really is. Christian life is what every believer should know, the mechanics in this church age. Christian life, where we have been ensampled out in this angelic conflict, to resolve this angelic conflict, we need to know why we need to believe in Christ, why we need to grow up after salvation, salvation in the knowledge of Bible doctrine, why we need to be a maximum glorification of Christ believers in the sight of Jehovah, why we need to be the people whom Lord has chosen separately and purely for us to be called as Alec and and why our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has chosen only in this church age sandwiched between the two people to be permanently indwelled among us as a Shekinah glory. Why is it we need to know, we need to search, we need to scratch when we are appearing before any one of the magistrates of our rulers of this country? What what we do, we really tremble and fear and show for the real obedience to him when we are not when we are so much so much hypocritical towards the ruler of this earth that we need to be fear and tremble and to be so much obedient to him, how much more we have to be for the one who is our eternal ruler and he is permanently indwelling in us. And day by day our walk under the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, how much more obedient we need to be to that great God, how much more obedient we need to consult that great Lord all the time in our life so that we can show forth the true worthy of the gloriness of Jehovah among the midst of this unbelieving and un 
unbelieving and perishing world who have not really known the scent or the essence of Jehovah. Dear brethren, rather Lord can call us as reprobate silvers because though the great worth of pain has been laid down upon our shoulders and we haven't been faithful for him to be executed we should be the men whom lord has to delight and say yes these are my beloved children who have done my work faithfully though i have given them so much of grace though i have been given them into this intensified stage of the angelic conflict dear brethren we need to know the christian way of life the real mechanics pertaining to the maximum glory of Christ the real truth wherewith you and I have to take number one priority for Bible doctrine the real work of Jehovah wherewith you and I have to take and consider the reality of the knowledge of Christ many people who might have come to the pulpits have might not be known exactly what is obedience if they would have been really been obedient to the principle in the ministry of the Lord get the Holy Spirit they would have come back to the reality of isagogical categorical and exegetical explanation of the word they would have come back to the reality of rob properly dividing the word of the Lord through the thorough dispensing technique of dispensations. And the reason why they are not coming is purely they have not knelt upon their knees to know what is God's will to their life. If it is Lord's will to them, and if they have the really bona fide gift of a pastor teacher, they wouldn't stop communicating the truth through exegesis and, ex and the dispensing technique of dispensations. Many of the pastors who think they have been first born, and many of the people who are now standing in the pulpits, they want to say, it is because my Lord spoke in a vision to my mother that my son has to be dedicated to the ministry it is purely because my son has studied only till to the matriculation he has not gone further to degree or some other courses so it is better for him I put him in a training course so that they can be happy with the ministry no Lord doesn't choose you all in that manner it is a bona fide gift from the head of the department of the church all the learning under the Sun can cause you to be uh, having the gift of a pastor teacher it is God's will it is God's purpose it is God's essence we need to receive it after receiving that bona fide gift what we need to do we need to be thoroughly trained and what will be the thorough purpose if you are really bona fide gifted pastor teacher people will repent like in the ministry of Jonah people will definitely change to the understanding of the spiritual mechanics people will definitely concentrate upon this unique spiritual life people will really come back and look and understand what is the word of the Lord wherewith you and I have been given to stay pure to him because the kingdom of Christ the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking but it is of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit alone when we are readily available to obey God's Word the greater number of the people today who stand in the pulpit never obey God's Word that's why they are following their own trends the great failure in their life and therefore dear brethren our Lord knows what is still residing in this darkness and our Lord knows from where to give us this light in the midst of this darkness so that his name and his fame could be praised throughout the entire earth by the ministry that we are going to survive in this church age dear brethren you do know only one thing that we are serving that great Lord the Christian way of mechanics which could be built upon the righteousness and the peace and the joy in the ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit is the true work of Lord that you and I can enjoy this great reality but many men who stand in the pulpits who have not come to the reality of the word by the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher have really caused a great damage to the doctrine of the church age a doctrine mystery realm of the church age the unique spiritual life doctrine for the church age how many days more they still want to preach about morality how many days more they want to still preach about the XYZ trends pertaining to their life but dear brethren when you will come to face the reality of Bible doctrine if Bible doctrine is not number one priority then never you will come to know about this unique spiritual life followed by spiritual self-esteem or spiritual autonomy and then by spiritual maturity this great reality of the Bible doctrine wherewith you and I have been given number one work wherewith you and I have been given to make known wherewith you and I have been told to really execute the true protocol prayer of God what a great privilege it is for us and why are we still wasting our time in useless and worthless things of this realm our great work is for only one simple truth and that one simple truth is for maximum glorification of Christ when our obedience has been fulfilled when our obedience has been fulfilled we can easily pull down all the imaginations that go against the knowledge of Christ by the true exegesis, isagogical and categorical.
categorical explanation of the word over the dispensing technique of dispensations. Dear brethren, ponder over these things as it is being the privilege for us in rightly dividing the word of truth under the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, by the bona fide gift given for us from the head of the department of the church. So, dear brethren, ponder over these things as we can come back and look back in the next step what our Lord leads. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that I was given to fellowship with through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and talent, sovereign Lord, so that Lord Jesus Christ might be glorified. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.